Shalom, giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Rechah HaKodash, Dabalana to the apostles of Great Millstone, honest to you brothers that are pushing the gospel of Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, in all sincerity, diligence, and truth, and peace and grace and blessings be upon the house of David, which is the elect, the men, women, and children that are predestined to receive salvation, and to be the first fruits of the kingdom of heaven, which is the kingdom of Israel. So brother Itazawam, um, I just wanted to touch on a uh, quick topic, Lord willing, you know, it'd be edifying to the elect uh, based off of a conversation uh, that I had with, um, you know, my boss, you know, really it was uh, him uh, venting about the uh, current conditions in uh, in America. All right. And, you know, a lot of uh, these Babylonians, especially Edomites, you know, they're real, uh, you know, uh, butthurt and upset over the different um, things that are happening here. OK, whether it be the whole. You know, the dates are in the restrictions. OK, uh, the uh, the stock market, which, you know, that was one of the topics that, um, you know, he was speaking about. OK, because, um, you know, a lot of uh, these Edomites that, you know, got money, they um, they play in the stock market. All right. A lot of their. Uh, so they pay attention heavy, you know, into the stocks and, uh, and, and the trading. So when you have a day like how today was in the stock market where. You know, certain uh, different, um, uh, you already have the Dow Jones and the NASDAQ, NASDAQ, which I believe the NASDAQ entered into a uh, correction, which means it was uh, down 10% um, for a moment. Okay, uh, when those things happen, a lot of, uh, that's like, that's money, you know, that's uh, <laughs> these uncertain riches that these uh, Edomites, you know, um, trust in, you know, it, it gets affected. Okay, and, and on top of that, the whole situation that's going on right now over there in Eastern European, Eastern Europe with uh, Russia and Ukraine and them basically, you know, uh, Russia basically flexing and America uh, trying to, you know, establish its you know superiority. But <clears throat> these nations are, are, don't don't respect America as being a, uh, you know, a force to be reckoned with. OK. And um, even even when you look at the presidents, all right, which, you know, is supposed to be the face of the nation. Starting, you know, even with Trump and then now with Biden, you know, they they they're looked at to be as clowns. All right. They're, they're not looked at to be somebody or, you know, someone who can impose their will. All right. Somebody who needs to be uh, revered or respected. OK, so, you know, with all that being said, this being uh, Esau's Edom's uh, kingdom. OK. And, and, and Babylon, specifically America being that that, uh, you know, whore. All right. That that. uh golden cup okay america uh, esau's uh, esau's prime all right when you have a, a a place that is having all these issues and on top of that is not respected by you know the other nations it it, it uh is a it's a direct blow to the um what's the word it's a direct blow to the uh uh prestige or, or status if you will that Americans believe that they have in the world. OK, and that's why you're seeing a lot of, you know, people that are angry, you know, people that are uh, short tempered, you know, always complaining. <laughs> you know, a lot of Edomites, man, they're, they're, they're complaining a lot. And that's ultimately in the spirit because they're realizing they're seeing that there is no throne anymore. OK, because America is Esau's kingdom. All right. Yeah, this world, this age that we in right now, uh, the age that that is coming to an end. All right. The end of an era is the end of Esau's rulership. And he feels he sees that it's it's coming to an end. OK. The fact that you had a uh, Joe, not Joe Biden, um, Trump, with his mantra was uh, let's make America great again. All right. Or make America great again. And then you have Joe Biden with the whole um, build back better. OK, um, the whole uh, his mantra was build back better or, you know, um, what was that restoring or healing, healing the soul of a nation. Those two different um, slogans indicate that there is a that there is something that is wrong or broken with America. All right. With this kingdom, if you got to make America great again. That means that in the condition that it's in right now, it's not great. If you have to build back better, that means that 
something was torn down or something was broken. All right. Something is hurt, you know, healing the soul of the nation. <laughs> and that's the spirit because remember in the book of, um, let me get that. I had Isaiah 47 pulled up, but let me get that real quick. In the book of Jeremiah chapter 51, it speaks about uh, Babylon not being healed. Let's get it. This is uh, Babel, uh, Jeremiah chapter 51. I'm going to start at six. I mean, so like I'm going to start at one and I'm going to jump around. It says, thus saith the Lord, behold, I will raise up against Babylon and against them that dwell in the midst of them that raise up against me a destroying wind and will send unto Babylon fanners that shall fan her and shall empty her land for the day for in the day of trouble, they shall be against her roundabout. OK, and these different fanners are all the different calamities and plagues and uh, issues that are, you know, perpetually in America. OK, soon as you got out of the um, you had um, the, the so-called, you know, uh, science falsely so-called. OK, these scientists talking about how that that we're reaching a peak of the, uh, you know, the Omi. Right. And that's supposed to, you know, start to decreasing in case numbers. But as soon as that happened, then you have the whole, you know, like the stock market issue. You still have the, su the supply chain issue that's going on. And on top of that, now you having the uh, the tensions that are rising between Russia and NATO and uh, uh, the EU in America. OK, so it's like there's there's always a problem. There's always something that is uh, um, bringing this place, you know, down. OK, where people where they feel like, oh, they're trying to get out of one thing. And as soon as they get out of that, they end up in, in another crisis or another tension or something that is going to be neg negatively affect them, you know, in another way. OK, the, so those are all the fanners that the Lord is bringing to this place because it's the time of the Lord's judgment, which will jump to verse six. It says, flee out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. Be not cut off in her iniquity. Or for this is the time of Yahweh's vengeance, he will render unto her a recompense. Okay, so we're in the time of the Heavenly Father Bashem Yahweh Shai's vengeance on Babylon. All right, and that's why we are constantly warning and letting our people know that you 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 can't be tied to this place, man. All right, hey, the scripture says that no man that worth entangleth, entangleth himself with the affairs of this world. You see, you have to be spiritually minded. You our our rest, our kingdom is not of this world, man. All right. That's why Paul said, what? Here we have no continuing city, but we seek one to come. All right. And while we're seeking it to come, we're watching this, this city. Okay. We're watching uh, uh, this great city. <laughs> so, you know, this golden city ceasing right before our very eyes. All right. So let me jump now to verse uh, eight. It says Babylon is suddenly, uh, suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her? Take balm for her pain. If so, she may be healed. All right. Going back to Joe Biden's slogan, you know, healing the soul of our nation. You see, because if something is healed, something if something needs to be healed, that means it's hurt. All right. And that's why you're seeing all these different uproars of the people, you know, East Esau bitching and complaining about the current, you know, the, the current state of his kingdom, because it's hurt, it's fallen, it's being destroyed. Verse nine, it says, we would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. All right. The stimulus checks. OK, the the trying to, you know, uh, uh, reopen, you know, certain uh, things so people can start buying and, and consuming to so try to get back the uh, the 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 um, profit, the profitability, the GDP you know, in America, but nothing, none of that is working, man. It said, forsake her. Let us go everyone into his own country for hit for her judgment reacheth unto heaven and is lifted up even into the skies. All right. And because Americans and specific, uh, specifically Edomites, they look at this country as their kingdom. When, when they see it going down and when they see things that is decaying and, and, and uh, demoralizing, it really, really uh, affects them, <laughs> okay? It really affects them to the point where they start bugging the hell out. You know, I've I seen the video that the uh, the Dallas camp, where you had that Edomite dude came up to the camp and, and he started screaming and hooping and hollering, crying. Because why? Because ultimately in their spirit, they know that they threw, okay? 
You got Esau versus Esau. All right, Satan house being divided. All right, uh, there's a clip here of a guy in uh, Connecticut, which where he was a he was a, an advisor for uh, Merrill Lynch, which is an investment banking company, right? And he goes on a he goes on a tyrant tyrant over a smoothie drink, man. You know, I want to play it, but actually, let me just see if I can play this one right here. It says, um, Merrill Lynch advisor fired after racist tirade against smoothie shop employee. I want to speak to the person who made this drink. Is that you? No, well, we don't know who made it. So. You don't know who made it? There's four of us here, so we honestly don't know. You stupid, fucking ignorant high school kid. Okay, bye. <laughs> Give it to me right now. Yeah. What? Really? <laughs> oh, you're I'm calling the police. You see? Hey, and Esau, that's that's how he acts, man. You know, when when things are not going his way, look what happened, you know, with Jacob and Esau the man. All right, go back to Cain and Abel, right? When Cain, when his sacrifice wasn't uh, accepted, he said what? His countenance, let's get that real quick. His countenance fell. You see? And and that's what's happening to Esau right now, man. Their countenance is falling and he's becoming butt hurt. He's becoming hurt. Um Genesis chapter four, <clears throat> Genesis chapter four, verse uh, five, it says, but unto Cain and to his offering, he had not, not, he had not respect and Cain was very wroth and his countenance fell. Okay. He says, this made Cain very angry and he looked dejected. Okay. And be because you were dejected, because you were rejected, you became dejected. All right. And that's what Esau does when he becomes, when he doesn't, when he sees things not going his way, he becomes irate. You know, he becomes irrational. He becomes, uh, 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 he can't handle the pressure. He can't handle the adversity, you know? And that's when, you know, brothers, you know, here in, you know, in the camp, we always say, we don't know how Esau going to last a thousand years in the kingdom, man. Okay. Cause look what he's doing in, in even in his own kingdom. <laughs> yeah man you know so with that you know and this is this is just one in a in a drop of a, a uh thousands of millions of buckets of of this happening you know in america man and, and esau being through okay and where we rejoice at these things man because this this is a, a sign for us you know the ones who have the the wisdom and knowledge and understanding to see that our enemies is fallen man okay that our enemies you know, the ones who have who have persecuted us, the ones who have robbed, raped, all right, murdered us. OK, they're they're now that that cup is about to be passed on to them. And as the scripture says that they're going to drink double. OK, they're going to drink double and they're going to uh, um, it says what they are going to make themselves naked, man. OK, and their and their shame is going to be seen. So now let's go back to um, Isaiah 47 verse one. It says, come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground. Okay? And when you when you sitting in the dust, you sitting on the ground, that's a low, that's a low uh place. Okay, that's a place of shame and place of uh, you know, uh, uh, uh poverty, okay, place of you know, no honor. So, you know, basically, that's a dishonorable place to be. It says, There is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. You see? And now, like I mentioned before, over there in the Ukraine, right in the Eastern Europe, Eastern Europe, you got uh, the tensions rising with you know thousands of um. Let me pull that up. You got thousands of uh you know troops, and and it's basically looking like it's about to be a, a war zone over there. But let's listen to what somebody has said. Where is it? Right here. OK, the, somebody says a BuzzFeed news quoting source close to Ukrainian president Zelensky. All right. So somebody close to the to the president of uh, Ukraine, which the over there in Ukraine, it, like I said, you have a uh, Russia that is mounting up troops on the border. You got a NATO NATO uh, troops going over there. 
But let's listen to what he said about Ukraine. It says America, Americans are safer in Kiev than they are in Los Angeles or any other crime ridden city in the U.S. And that speaks volumes right there, man, because if you could literally legit is a, a, a war zone or war zone tensions that are happening over there in Ukraine and you have people that are close to the, the, the president of the Ukraine, Ukrainians saying that Americans are safer in Ukraine. Although everything was going on over there now, they're more safer in Ukraine than in Los Angeles. All right. And they spoke about Los Angeles because of all the smash and grabs. OK, the uh, the um, the crime, you know, rate that's going up over there, the theft, the robbery. OK, all those things that are happening. Uh, um, they're saying that America is not a safe place, man. <laughs> OK. And that's why going back to Isaiah, the, the 47 chapter says that you shall no more be called tender and delicate. Because why? Because we're in the time of the judgment of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. And as these, as the time progresses, as things get worse and worse, it's what is going to happen? People are going to start bugging out more and more. All right. They're going to start taking matters into their own hand. OK, you see the stock market more of these, uh, you know, collapses of different various uh, stocks. A lot of like I said, a lot of Edomites that are into the stocks, they're going to do what? That's all their money. Right. That might be their their their, you know, life savings in there. Something that they they've been working to build up for, you know, 25, 30, 30, 40 years is all gone. They're going to do what, man? They're going to start. But you're going to start seeing you know, these these executives, these six figure uh, salary uh, Americans start to get real primitive, man. Start to get real violent. Going to be shoot, killing themselves, killing their family. All right. Why? Because of the judgment that the Most High Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is putting on this place, man. All right. And that goes, you know, into the scripture. Let me get that. This is the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 25, verse uh, 7. It says, there be nine things which I have judged in my heart to be happy. In the tenth, I will utter with my tongue a man that have joy of his children and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy. You know? And, and that's why, you know, when we have those type of conversations with people, you know, in the, in the world, all right, uh, you know, Edomites, whether it be, you know, uh, colleagues or people in the grocery store, uh, whosoever, whatever, they all have that same uh, uh, rhetoric of America is, 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 you know, and is in a bad state and they can't see or they don't see any, any, any way of it getting better. Okay. One of the things that my my uh, manager mentioned, he said, "What that America needs to?" Uh, he said, "Well, we're America. We should we should be able to basically impose our will on Russia, but because of Joe Biden, which once again the president is the face of of a nation, because of of how passive he is, you know, and how how uh, uh, Russia, how you know, they basically are are, are more aggressive." And more, you know, manly. Okay, Americas look like pansies compared to compared to the, to the Russians, man. So he was like, oh, "We're America. We supposed to be, you know, uh, uh, the ones that people, you know, respect and listen to." But the, all these uh, all these countries are just doing whatever they want, you know. And he was like, "Enough is enough." <laughs> okay, but what in my mind, I'm rejoicing while he's speaking. You know, keeping it obviously uh, with wisdom. You know, speaking to him, but in my mind, I'm I'm thanking the Lord because what I'm I'm living to see the fall of our of my enemy, man. You know, we're 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 in the in the moment of seeing this place get destroyed, and these people, whether they know it or not, but in their spirit, they can sense that there is a shift in America that is negative, that is going to a decadency of this place, man. Okay, and no matter what. They, they, you know, whether it's the Republicans or the Democrats, the left or the right, there is no, there is no um, way of restoring it. Okay, so, you know, I'm going to end it there. I just wanted to bring that out. You know, I uh, just wanted to uh, share that. Lord willing, this is edifying. I said the elect. Till next time, Shalom.